YouTube, welcome back. Lenny Sly, Rogue Warrior TV, RogueWarriorTC.com. Check us out online. Um, today we're going to do another video on uh, Aiki Grappling. That's what people were seeming to be labeling this. Um, <clears throat> did a couple videos back where we actually uh, did live resistance with the Colt Gaishi based off of somebody else's idea that they made a video on. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing again today with the Aiki grappling thing, so stand-up grappling, and the key technique that uh, we're gonna try to accomplish applying is uh, Sankyo. Um, I don't really see a lot of Sankyo videos online. Uh, when I do, it's usually the traditional mainstream Aikido uh, videos on, on that particular application off of traditional attacks and technique and stuff and whatnot. So, in my personal opinion, out of, out of the whatever it is, the small handful of uh, wrist lock applications, you know, like, you know, Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, Yankyo, Gokyo, you know, Rokyo, which is actually like a Hijishime. Um, I think Sankyo is probably the most effective and the most easily applied just because from a grappling standpoint, if your hand is, you know, obviously in order to grab your hands, you need to be open. Um, and I, did, I think it's, it's just personally, I think Sankyo is probably the most effective wrist lock that Aikido has. More effective than Colt Degaishi. Um We're not doing a Nikyo uh, version of this because in order to get your arm into this configuration, into this shape, people can resist that really easy to try to try to bend the wrist. Nikyo is very, very hard to apply, especially from a standing, grapple, standing grappling position. Um, I think Nikyo could be be readily available for, for application if somebody's grabbing your shoulder, things of that nature, but then obviously it's not going to look like the traditional way on how to actually apply this from like katadori. Um, again, I've, I've talked about this before, in order to actually perform a wrist lock on anybody, it has to be set up with something else, whether it's a strike or, you know, hand deflection with a strike or whatever. Um, so it's kind of been on the fence about this for a while, but it's like the, the whole Sankyo application is I think would be a uh, another nice approach to the Aiki grappling to see if we can actually get the Sankyo to work. Now, same rules apply. One guy is gonna be trying to apply Sankyo, the other guy is gonna be pretty much trying to resist having Sankyo applied. And if the guy that's trying to apply Sankyo can't seem to get it or has it half to where they don't have a full Sankyo, he's gonna have the freedom to move into anything else that he wants. This time around, I'm not going to tell him any, like, try to do this, try to do that. And the same for, for the other guy. So this is going to be strictly based on their discretion, on what they feel that they can pull off if the Sankyo application doesn't work. So, uh, next thing. Florian Dow has a YouTube channel called Low Fight and Fitness. It's a YouTube channel. He's an Aiki Jiu Jitsu guy, he's an Aikido guy, and he has fitness videos in there. He also has a Instagram channel, so that guy's channel is uh, pretty cool. A lot of it's in German, because he's from Germany, obviously. Um, but he's a friend of mine, uh, and I, you know, told him that I was going to plug his channel because I, he has a lot of great stuff on there. He has a lot of he has a bunch of videos that has like Aiki Jiu Jitsu and Aikido in one video, where he shows you the application, say like Yokomuchi Shihonage Aikido wise, and then he shows you the. Aiki Jiu Jitsu version of how Shomenuchi Shihonage would be applied. It is a fantastic channel to check out. Um, so head on over to Flow Fight and Fitness and, and uh, take a look at it. And if you like it, throw you know throw a subscription up there. You know, subscribe to his channel, leave a couple comments on his channel, let him know how well he's doing. Um, Florian, if you're watching this, uh, you need to start producing more videos, bro. I mean, two videos and you know in the past couple weeks, I mean that's good, but you know, there was you had a you had a hiatus there for a while where you didn't have any videos up, and I did the same thing. But now's the time that you need to get your stuff out there, Florian, and start posting more videos. Um, no more excuses, brother. The time is now. You want your channel to grow? I'm helping you with that. And uh, let's get moving on some videos and let's show some some content again because you got some really great stuff out there that people need to see. Uh, with that being said. Like I've said before in a previous video, if you're looking to get your channel plugged by me, I'll happily do it as long as I think that it's worth sharing. Um, 
especially for the Aikido community. There's a, there's, there's a lot of guys out there. I got a long list of guys that I'm gonna be endorsing over the next couple months, and uh, Florian happens to be the second guy. Um, there's another guy that I'm gonna be doing next, which you'll probably see in a couple videos um, down the road. I'm gonna be promoting his channel as well. Eventually, I'm gonna run out of people's channels to promote, so I might re-promote other people's channels or previous people's channels again. So definitely check out Florian's YouTube channel, Flow Fight and Fitness on YouTube. It's a, it's a great channel, it really is. It's definitely worth the watch. So with that being said, you guys ready? You ready? Okay, we got um, Rod and Nick here again today. They're gonna go at it. I'm gonna keep an eye on the clock, maybe go for like a minute, minute and a half, you know. Same rules apply, he's gonna go first. You gotta stop him from applying Sankyo. You gotta do everything that you possibly can to get Sankyo. And then, what, at your discretion, whatever you, if anything opens up or presents itself, go for it, okay? If you're having a hard time trying to get to Sankyo, look for something else. Don't waste a lot of time on it, okay? And you just, you're gonna have no idea what he's gonna pull out of, you know, out of his hat when he tries to do something else. So, keep that in mind, you know? So, try to combat whatever he has and, and try to try to stop him from doing it. Okay? Okay. Ready? Ajime. Remember, you also want to grab too. Don't keep your fist closed, Nick. You also want to grab. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> More seconds. Come on, Rod. Time, time, time. So, explain to the camera what you're doing wrong. Halfway into, halfway into the Sankyo. Both times that I did half get it, yeah. I had the Yubi Dory, but at the last second, I keep losing the tension on the on the finger fingers. Once I got, I think two fingers, and then the last time I got the thumb. But as soon as I turned it, I lost the tension, and that's when he Nick was able to close his fist. I couldn't finish the sake. What I should have done was kept the tension and immediately drive the other hand into the wrist right away. Isn't that what I teach in class yes. all the time? So, but, so how did that go out the window? So basically, <laughs> missing bars. So if you're in this position here, okay, and you're able to you're able to get Yubi Dory, right? Okay, come this way. I'm not even trying not to apply it hard. Yeah. And you start rolling over and you let that go. Yeah, he closes his fist. This has to be applied. And then immediately, this still is being pushed. That's why I keep losing right exactly. there. Exactly. So here's my question, though. If this is the way I teach you how to do it, then why don't you do it that way? I've told you this a thousand times. Right. When you get Yubi Dory and you do this, and then he turns his hand, you're not right. going to get anything at that point. It has to stay being applied, and it's not being applied like this. 
is yeah. being applied right there to where then you can get the sound kill. You keep that on there, and then once you have the wrist lock, then you can let go. <laughs> Obviously, we need more right. work with sound kill with you because <laughs> fundamental principle is using you be where you get a sound kill. You can't let this. You can't give them back slack. Otherwise, you're right. not going to get the sound kill. You're obviously gonna you're gonna lose it, and then yeah. he's gonna count, which is what happened. Which Both is what times. happened. It's like a broken record. I've told you yeah. that a thousand times, and you just prove you just explain to them what you did wrong. Right. What I've been trying to tell you for how many months? If you apply Yubido or Sankyo, you gotta keep that on. Stay you, on it. You gotta you gotta take the slack out of it and not give it back. That's why this gets applied, and then your hand goes underneath. Then you rotate. If you start rotating before you have your hand in position to grab. If you're not keeping that application you be doing applied, you're going to lose it. That's and the other get thing out. that I was doing wrong too. I was rotating before the other hand was already in place. Well, you can if you have if you have this, you can rotate this way right. to get that. But the idea is here, then put your hand right. here and yes. then rotate and close because you have that control. Right. The second you do that, you can lock that up. Right. You obviously got to watch out for the elbow, so you got to keep that tight. And then once you have that lock, then you can apply that. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. What do we have for him, Johnny? <laughs> Another six months of Sankyo training to get it through your head. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You good? Yeah. You good? Okay. Another thing with you too is if you were struggling a lot trying to get the Sankyo, you got to cult the Gaishi. But again, it's got to get your head out of the concept of Sankyo, Sankyo, Sankyo. Yeah. If you can't get the Sankyo, you got to find something else. You know, that's, that's the trick with this. And the reason why I didn't tell you, give you tips to do, and I'm not giving you, is I want you to see how well you guys think outside of the box on your own. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Hi, Sumiyatoshi twice. Sorry. You're fine. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Follow through. Follow through. Dude. See, this, this is what's going to happen because it's like now you've got the Ike grappling thing going on and you know they've done this a couple times. Um, 
this is now they're starting to get the hang of how to resist at 100% and be able to stop the person from doing anything. This is interesting how this is starting to unfold. The first time we did it, Rod got like four techniques, you got like four techniques, I got four techniques. We did, a, we did another video before this one, which obviously you guys are going to see before this. Um, that one was, wasn't that successful either, but it, it, was, it was a stand-up grappling, but it wasn't, you know, the IT grappling with the wrist. Um, you pulled off like one or two and, you know, you got like kind of a half Sankyo and then a Koltagaishi and then you got like a Kokyunage, a Koshinage type throw, but everything else is pretty much non-existent. So this is, this is good because you guys are actually learning how the other person's thinking and you're keeping your mind open to adapt to whatever the other person's doing. Where the first time we did it, you didn't know what to expect, right? Plus I gave you guys some tips on what techniques to try and what techniques to try and you guys made honest attempts at getting that stuff and then you pulled off a rear naked choke and you pulled off a Ganseki Nage, which is really cool. So see how this is evolving, it's changing now because now you guys, and it's not that you know, you know how to counter him, who knows how to counter you, you guys just know now to have more of an open mind to what to look for if Sankyo's not working and you're trying to apply Sankyo or whatever, and then the defender or the guy that's resisting is also keeping more of an open mind to what you're doing by thinking outside of the box because when you start setting him up for Sankyo and then you go to something else, now it's no longer what the hell is he doing, you adjust to his movement, which is really, really good. So, you guys want to go one more round on this and uh, include striking? Time, camera's rolling, we got to make a decision. Or we, or we can do it in another video. I don't think that's going to go very well. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's going to be ugly. Well, it's going to turn into a sparring match, I think. Well, there will be stipulations with the striking. Yeah. You know, we'll save that for another video. Yeah. We'll save it for another video. Yeah. Because so I thought that maybe we could just put on headgear, open palm strikes to the head or body shots or whatever, trying to soften them up. So we'll make another video of that and, you know, down the road we'll incorporate striking into the Aiki grappling. So then the next time around we'll, yeah. there'll be a, There'll be a better video because I'll come up with a better idea on how to do this. So that's pretty much for this video. As you can see, it's uh, Sankyo, and I'm, here I am saying that Sankyo, in my opinion, is is the most effective wrist lock to get on somebody. But the stipulation with that is when they don't know what's coming, and they and it's not a training partner, and it's not in a martial art type of environment. Somebody on the street is never going to, never going to see when they go to grab you, is never going to see that. They're never going to see that coming. They're never going to get this. They're never going to know that that's there. That's the one thing about Sankyo. It's like, these guys know what to expect, but somebody on the street isn't going to know what to expect, especially with Yubi Dori. It's an extremely effective technique, and I know I've, I've read comments before in the past where people say, Yubidori doesn't work, you know, when someone's pissed off and anger and this, that, whatever. No, you know what? Yubidori does work because Yubidori is one of those, like, shock and awe techniques that you don't ever expect that to be done. You know, out of, out of all the street fights that I've seen and, and altercations that I've been in, most people don't ever see something like that. They don't expect it to happen. You know, they just don't expect Yubidori to happen. You're just like, nobody expects to get punched in the nuts in a street fight because most guys aren't going to punch another guy in the nuts. You know, I do whatever it takes to win, period, so I can walk away. So that's, that's the way I look at it. There's no rules to street fighting, period. There just isn't, so anything goes. You know, so you got to do what you got to do to be able to walk away and go home to your family and survive. But like I said, my opinion, Sankyo is the most effective technique, wrist lock technique that Aikido has to offer, especially against somebody that's just an average Joe that's going to start a fight with you because they don't know that you know martial arts, you know, and you don't know if they know martial arts, but Yubidori is one of those techniques that most people don't ever see coming. And you can be very, hey, I don't want any trouble, I don't want any trouble, and somebody just goes to shove you because once they feel that you're, you're kind of like, 
like retracting from this, you know, you're backing off, that's when someone can take advantage of that opportunity because they feel that they got the upper hand on you and they can go to shove you and that's when you can snatch those fingers right out of the air and apply and it will drop virtually any man. Anytime I've ever showed Yubi Dory to a new student and I've had quite a few students that are much larger than me and the second that I apply Yubi Dory, the response is golden. I've dropped a 300 pound man straight to his knees with barely applying this and it wasn't in an aggressive nature, but the fact that I was showing him, I was telling him about Ubidori and he didn't know what it was, and the second that I grabbed his fingers and applied it, he dropped like a sack of bricks. So it does work, and it was unexpected. That's why it works so well. So anyways, um, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. Um, we'll see what happens you know, down the road with some of these other uh, live resistance you know, training videos that we're going to be doing. You know, there's a couple more that we have in mind that we want to do, and then well, we're probably going to start moving on to some other stuff and maybe revisit that or maybe take it to the next level. You know, who knows? Um, so that's it for me. You know, thanks, Nick. Or thanks, Rod. Thanks, Nick. Good job, you know. Was, wasn't as dynamic as you guys thought it was going to be, but you guys are starting to get the hang of this to where you could, you could counter the other person a lot easier than what you did in the first video. So that's it for me. I'm Lenny Sly. You're watching Rogue Warrior TV. Check out our website at roguewarriortc.com. And uh, have a nice weekend. See you next time.